Hello video editors, it's time for a quick must-know transitions tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to make some easy seamless transitions inside Premiere that will work on almost any footage. These transitions could be made in a matter of seconds, especially if you save them as a preset. And they are all made with the built-in effects inside Premiere, so no additional plugins required. Let's now move over to Premiere to get it started with the first one, and that's the blur transition. Inside Premiere, we're going to recreate this blur transition with these two clips. I'm going to start here by creating a new adjustment layer. Inside the project panel, we're going to click on the new items icon and then select adjustment layer. I will accept the same settings as the sequence and click OK. Now we can drag this adjustment layer from the project panel over to the timeline and place them on top of the two clips. Next, I'm going to move the playhead right between the two clips because this will be the center point of the transition. Now we're going to cut this adjustment layer on both sides with an equal amount of frames. And in this case I'm going to use 10 frames on both sides. So I'm going to hold the shift key and then hit the right arrow key twice to skip 10 frames. And now I can switch over to the razor tool by hitting the C key and then cut the track. Then move 20 frames back and again cut the track. Now we can switch back to the selection tool by hitting the V key. Then select the parts that we don't need and hit the delete key to remove them. Ok, the adjustment layer is ready, we can now move over to the effects panel to add an effect and in this case it's the Gaussian Blur effect. I will apply this effect to the adjustment layer that we've just added and then move over to the effect controls panel. In here I'm going to enable keyframes for blurriness by clicking on this stopwatch icon and then move the first keyframe to the end. And then create another keyframe with value 0 and leave this one at the beginning. After that I'm going to move back to the center of the transition and then create a keyframe with value 150. And with these couple of steps, we've now created this simple blur transition. This one already looks great here, but in some cases the cut between the clips can still be a bit rough. You could improve this by adding a simple cross dissolve effect between the two clips. And finally, shorten the duration to a couple of frames and you're done. And that's how you make this simple, seamless blur transition inside Premiere. Before I move over to the next one, I first want to thank Envado Elements for sponsoring this video. If you want to improve your video editing projects and make them look more professional, then definitely check out Envato Elements. They offer thousands of high quality video editing templates for apps like Premiere Pro and After Effects. Besides video editing templates, they also offer stock videos, music and sound effects, fonts and much more. And this is all included in one single subscription. And that's why I think that Envato Elements is a must have for every content creator. If you want to give them a try, then please use my temporary discount code that you can find in the video description. This way you can try them a month for a couple of dollars. The next transition that we're going to recreate is this zoom transition. And just like with the previous transition, we'll also use an adjustment layer for this one. You can reuse the same adjustment layer multiple times in the same project, so I'm going to drag this one on top of the two clips. I will zoom in on the timeline by using the ALT or COMMAND key combined with the scroll wheel on the mouse and then put the playhead in the middle of the transition. This is a pretty fast transition, so we only need about 10 frames for this one. So I'm going to skip 5 frames forward, then cut the track, and then move 10 frames back and cut the track again. Then remove the parts that we don't need, and now it's time to add an effect inside the effects panel. And in this case we're going to add the transform effect to the adjustment layer. Now we can move over to the effect controls panel and there enable keyframes for scale by clicking on the stopwatch icon. Then move this first keyframe to the end and create another keyframe with value 100. After that I'll move the playhead to the middle of the transition and then increase the value to 300. And this is how the zoom transition looks so far with these couple of keyframes. To improve this we're going to add a bit of motion blur. And we can do this by disabling the option to use composition shutter angle and then set the shutter angle to 360. As you can see here in the program monitor, this now adds some motion blur to the transition. This already looks a lot better, but we can further improve this by right clicking the last keyframe and then select ease in, and right click the first keyframe and then select ease out. And this will make the zoom animation look a lot smoother as you can see here. It's time to move on to the last transition for this tutorial video, and that's the glow transition. I'm going to start by zooming in on the timeline, and again we're going to use the same adjustment layer to make this one. Then inside the effects panel I'm going to search for the proc amp effect, and apply this to the adjustment layer. I will zoom in a bit further and then place the playhead right between the two clips. 
As you can see, the part of the adjustment layer on top of the second clip is about two thirds in length. And that's because the second part of the transition will last longer than the first part. And let me show you what I mean inside the effect controls panel. I'm going to enable keyframes for brightness and then move this first keyframe with a value of zero a couple of frames back. And then add another keyframe with value zero and move this keyframe forward like this. And then at the point of the playhead, I'm going to increase the brightness right until the point where barely anything is left visible inside the frame. And that's all you need to do to create this beautiful glow transition, which works really well on sunset footage as you can see here. And finally, you can always play around with the timing of the keyframes to make the transition last longer or shorter. And that's it for this must-know seamless transitions tutorial inside Premiere. If you enjoyed this one, then please leave a comment below or like the video, I would really appreciate that. Finally, as always, thanks a lot for watching and I wish you all a wonderful day.